Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Dini bin Muhammad Shah. Today, I would like to present my final year project, which is non-linear modeling for time varying water temperature PID control. So, for introduction, system identification is a method of using system input and output data to create a systematical model that is commonly used in various fields of production and life. The system identification contains a linear and non-linear modeling. Non-linear models can present much better approximation than linear models since it can capable of characterize systemic behaviors over the entire operational spectrum relative contrasted linear models that estimate the structure across a specific operating point. Distillation column system is one of the common methods used linear and non-linear modeling equally, such as autoregressive with exogenous input ARX and non-linear autoregressive with exogenous input NARX. There are several controllers have been implemented for distillation column, such as dynamic matrix control or DMC, predictive functional model. Predictive Functional Control, PFC, Globally Linearizing Control, GLC, and Model Predictive Control, MFC. For the problem statement, number one, distillation column has been presented a tough effort and has become critical issue because of its primary non-linearity of distillation, multivariable dealing, the non-stationary behavior and the hardness of disruption. Difficulties analysis involve a restriction in describing physical process, dominant non-linear, and time-varying behavior under transient condition of the process, such as start-up method and set point changes, time-varying several adaptation, connection, and non-linear problem. Number three is PRBS input signal might not suggest suitable data to identify non-linear behavior since it consists of only two levels. Consequently, this signal cannot excite certain non-linearities. There is limitation. There is some limitation demonstrated in non-linear modeling system by using linear method due to the variability of specific input range. To date, only limited number of perturbation input signal investigation on the observed distillation column have been identified. Currently, only a limited number of PID control for distillation column using nonlinear modeling have been identified. So for objective, the objective of this research are number one, to construct a NARX model of the time varying water temperature through steam distillation Steam Distillation Pilot Plan, SDPP. Number two, to estimate a transfer function based on the non-linear models. Number three, to evaluate and compare the performance using Ziegler Nichols and Kuhn Kuhn control technique of proportional integral derivative or PID. So for the methodology, on the left side, as you can see, this is the setup of distillation pilot plan. So. SDPP was used to obtain the temperature data. The distillation column with 12 liter is heated by immersion heater. It produced steam that will pass through the plant material for essential oil preservation. An excellent plant response prediction is important in preparing the nonlinear modeling for the real time plan. Besides the sustainability of the process quality and quantity also depends on the temperature as one of the critical parameters that is considered in this project. For temperature data, there are two perturbation input signal that were used such as uh, PRBS or pseudo random binary signal. And the other one is multi-sign or we call M sign. When the output temperature data from the distillation pilot plan was produced, uh, 
uh, MATLAB software and system identification app were used to obtain the model output. The number of poles and zero were set in system identification to obtain the best result of the transfer function. And all model output were estimated by using the parameter estimation. The model output of each transfer function was then evaluated and the transfer function is selected by its best fit, final prediction error or FPE and mean square, mean, mean square error, MSE. So as you can see on the right side, this is the example of system identification process. The first picture is about model output for transfer function. The second one is simulated model output. The third one, model estimation. And the last one is model validation. Next one is uh, from the temperature output response, an open loop and cross-selection curve were conducted to find first order plus that time FOPDT model. So we need to find uh, the value of gain. Gain is equal to output divided by input. So for the output, the highest temperature will be minus with the lowest temperature divided by the highest value of input will be minus with the lowest uh, value of input. So then uh, we then follow by to find the temperature at 28% and 63%, which is 0 0.28 or 0 0.63, multiply with the highest temperature minus with the lowest temperature, then plus with the lowest temperature. After that, to find the time constant or tau, 1.5 is multiplied with uh, 63% 63 of time minus with 28% of time. Then to find the time delay, theta, uh, time with 63% is minus with tau, time constant. So as you can see on the right side, this is the example of uh, process reaction curve where we need to locate the value of 28% and 63%. So from the location, we will find the value of x and y. So for the value of x is the time and for the value of y is the temperature. So when the value of FOPDT that uh, have been gathered, we can follow, follow the next step, which is to calculate the PID tuning rules. In this experiment, the PID tuning rules are Ziegler-Nichols and Cohen-Kuhn. So we need to find the value of proportional gain, Kp, integral time constant, Ti, and derivative time constant, Td. So when all this value have been calculated using this formula, all this value will be uh, will be transferred into simulink simulink apps in MATLAB software. So on the right side is the example of simulink PID block diagram. As you can see, the KP there, we need to insert the value that we have been calculated using the formula on the left table. So we need to insert the value of KP, TI, and TD. Then the you can see the rectangle box there. There is the transfer function that we obtain by using system identification. When the system identification we use, we need to find the best fit of the transfer function. Then with that best transfer function, we put inside this distillation column so that we can run the simulating PID to obtain the best graph or output. So this is the result for uh, feed FPE and MSE for input PRBS and multi-sign. So if, as you can see, uh, both, both input use three probability band 
which is 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 0 0.8. So let's begin with PRBS input for 0 0.1 band. Uh, actually, we use number of input and output terms uh, such uh, as many as four, four, four input, four input and output terms. So from these four, we need to analyze which one gives the best result. So for the 0 0.1, the best result for number of input and output terms goes to number one because it gives the best value of in terms of fitness, FPE and MSE. For 0 0.5, the best number of input and output terms is number three. So for the last one for the PRBS input, 0 0.8, the best number of input and output terms is zero is number two because it gives the best value of fitness, FPE and MSE. For multi-sign input, the best number of input and output terms for 0 0.1 probability band is number one. Then 0 0.5 and 0 0.8, both of them use uh, number two for the number of input and output because it gives the best result in terms of fitness, FPE and MSE. Then this is the output performance of PID control. So from this, as you can see, the left side is uh, the summary of the table that obtained from the output response. So the value of time rise or TR and T time set uh, or settling time TS in Ziegler Nichols PID tuning produce faster response compared to Kuhen Kun PID tuning for band 0 0.5 and 0 0.8, but slower response for band 0 0.1. However, Kuhen Kun demonstrate lower value of percent over shoot compared to Ziegler Nickel for band 0 0.1 and 0 0.5, but higher for 0 0.8. Then the comparison of ISE show Ziegler Nichols PID tuning produced lower ISE, which is better than Kuhen Kun for all band. The next one is the, the output for, for the input multi sign model. As you can see, the summary of the result is tabulated on the left table and the output is on the right picture. So for band 0 0.1 and 0 0.8, Kuhen Kun recorded lower time rise, settling time, percent overshoot, and ISE compared to Ziegler Nichols. For band 0 0.5, Kuhen Kun demonstrate lower rise time, percent overshoot, and ISE while Ziegler Nickel produced faster in settling time. In conclusion, NARS model PID control was used for performance investigation on several tuning rules. The result proved that Ziegler Nichols tuning method demonstrate better performance compared to Kuhen Kun for PRBS input value, while Kuhen Kun tuning method revealed as better performance compared to Ziegler Nichols for multi sign input. That's all from me. Thank you.